Hi guys, so welcome back. Um, you've probably just seen my other video of an overview of first year. Um, I said I would do this finance video straight away after, so that's what I'm doing because I don't have much time anymore. And I actually thought I'd be able to do a video like every month, I think, and that's just not possible anymore. So yeah, this video is about finance information, um, in particular for Wales, because I know it's different in England, Ireland and Scotland. But if you're thinking of studying in Swansea or Wales, then this is the video for you. So please like, comment, subscribe and let's get into the video. So finance is a very big thing when it comes to university and it's something I got confused about very easily. Um, it's, it's, it is very confusing. So I'll try and break it down now. So studying a healthcare related course in Wales is free. I think as long as you work for two years, I don't know if it's the same for nursing, etc. but it is for paramedic science. So with paramedic science, your tuition fees are paid for if you agree to work in Wales for two years after graduating, it's a two year holding clause. Um, I don't know what it's like in England. I think in England you have to pay for the tuition fees. Um, and you do in Wales if you don't keep that two year holding clause to account. So it's, <laughs> it's very confusing anyway. But yeah, your tuition fees are paid for in Wales as long as you work for two years after qualifying. So tuition fees out the window. <laughs> Let's go on to the NHS and student finance thing. So the NHS bursary is almost similar to student finance in that you get a maintenance loan, but it's from the NHS rather than student finance, if that makes sense. It, <laughs> most of it comes from the NHS. With the NHS bursary, you get paid, I think it's something like, well, it depends, but about 400-ish a month. But again, it depends on your circumstances and how much your parents earn, which I think is a bit ridiculous, <laughs> you know, but hey-ho. <laughs> um, so NHS is what you'll get monthly of around 400 ish and then student finance you'll get every term every semester um, that's the makeup of the rest of your maintenance loan if I'm not mistaken let me go do some research right yeah so it's a really weird thing you've got your NHS bursary and then you've got your student finance maintenance loan Get as much NHS bursary as you can because obviously you don't need to pay that back. It's more or less like a minimum living wage that you get paid every month. And then the rest of the money is made up by the maintenance loan with student finance. So go on to the student award services to apply for the NHS bursary and then student finance Wales for your maintenance loan. But the maintenance loan and the bursary combine together to make up the nine grand a year or something you get. Um, but like I said, try and get as much NHS bursary as you can because you don't need to pay that back. Okay. And then the rest then is just your maintenance loan that you end up paying back. But there's no need to worry about the tuition fees as long as you work for two years after qualifying in Wales. England has just made um, the paramedic as a second degree uh, part of their funding thing. Um, but in Wales, it's automatically allowed, if that makes sense. So I've done teaching before this and I was still allowed to have my maintenance loan. Um, and I've still got my NHS bursary as well. So I was, I've been really lucky because I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Um, but yeah, so if you've got a first degree and you're going on to do the paramedic science degree in Wales, it's fine. You don't need to worry about it. 
they've just brought it in to England but I don't know how exactly they're going to go about doing that um, but if you're living in Wales it's, it'll all work out so I'm not sure if there's much else to discuss about finance the main takeaway from this is you will get the same amount you would normally get for doing any other course it's just split between the NHS Bursary and Student Finance Wales, if that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just send me an email, drop a comment below and I'll get to answering them. So, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.